four years ago, David Cola sent me a message on Facebook. He was still in Berkeley doing some project, some recording project, and I guess he needed some darker symbols. And someone had mentioned to him about some recipe he could put on a symbol to make it sound darker and give it like some sort of patina. And he's like, yo, this will make a cool video for you. So I actually tried it, but it didn't really work. So I wanted to revisit it because there were a few things I did wrong, I think. And also I tracked down the book that this came from. So let's take a look. This book is called Recording Unhinged, Creative and Unconventional Music Recording Techniques by Sylvia Massey. But if we flip to page 106, we find this weird recipe for putting a patina on a symbol. So I guess let's follow this and see what happens. Cooking symbols with me. He doesn't know if this will work. Like, no, really, I, I have no idea. Step one. Clean your symbol with steel wool or a pot scrubber to remove varnish if necessary. So first, let's go find a symbol. I'm pretty sure all of these have been cracked and repaired, so probably not the best option. Now we're talking. Step two, crush a one and a half ounce bag of regular potato chips into a blender. I think I have potato chips and I think I have a blender. I feel like every household in the 90s had this exact blender. Add vinegar. I think there's some vinegar in my garage. Ah, uh, of course, just where I left it. And coffee grounds. I definitely have coffee grounds. Nothing like some good old Amazon brand coffee. Blend until completely mushy. I must say, that smells absolutely horrible. <laughs> I almost just died. So step three, spread mush all over the top of clean symbol, cover with plastic, leave in a ventilated area outside until sun cooked about four hours, then brush the dried chip spread application off the symbol. And if done correctly, I guess we'll get a symbol that looks like this. Alright, it's now tomorrow. So last night as the sun was going down, I checked on the symbol and it honestly looked the same. But if we go back to the book, it says, if left overnight, the symbols will achieve a lovely greenish patina. So I let the symbol sit overnight. I checked it this morning and still it looked exactly the same. So right now it's still outside. The sun is now out. We'll let it sit for the rest of the day and then clean it off and see how it sounds and looks. All right, I'm definitely getting a little impatient. I dumped a bunch of salt on the symbol and I have a bunch of this old nasty hot sauce. So I'm gonna dump all of that on the symbol, cover it back up, let it bake, and hopefully something happens. This is the symbol two hours after adding the hot sauce and I also decided to remove the bag at this point. This is it two hours after that. The mush is definitely drying out some, and also we can see some green spots starting to form. This is it another two hours later. The mush is really dry now, and also the green spots are getting a little bit bigger. Then it got dark, then I fell asleep, then it rained overnight, and then it rained all day, and that takes us to now, 24 hours later. Of course the rain washed off some of the mush, but this gives us a hopeful glimpse of what the symbol will look like. On the edge, there is a really dark spot, and throughout the rest of the symbol, there's some weird discoloration. So hopefully underneath, the rest of this mush is even more weird, dark funkiness.
So it definitely changed the look of the symbol, but it kind of just looks like mold. Like if we were to pull a symbol out of a hoarder's basement, it would probably look like this. And I have no issue with dark, dry, aged looking symbols, but this just doesn't do it for me. But as far as sound goes, it changed a little bit. It almost resembles a cheaper B8 symbol. One characteristic of B20 symbols, which is what this is, is they're bright and kind of shimmery. But now with the crust on it, I wouldn't say that it darkened the sound any. It more or less just cut some of the higher frequencies making it lose its B20 characteristics. And you can really hear this in the bell. There are a lot more weird overtones now, which were present in the symbol before. But again, with the crust on it now, I cut those higher frequencies, making those lower funky ones come out now. So my opinion, I wouldn't recommend it. I'll probably never do this again. But I do know there are a million other ways to patina a symbol to give you a different look than this. So I may try those in the future. If you want to see more experiments like this, let me know and I may revisit the idea. But that's all I got for this one. So thanks for watching.